and immediately went out. And he said to her, you need to learn to bear the light. You need to learn to bear the light. And so today we come to our Holy Father Thomas, this wonderful, wonderful holy man, who is such a good example of why Christ chose the apostles. He didn't choose them because they were perfect, he chose them because they were honest and because they were pure-hearted. Thomas doesn't have any pretenses, he doesn't have any kind of vain conceptions of what he thinks his faith is, he straight up tells the truth. <laughs> Unless I see what you guys have seen, I'm not going to believe. And frankly, the other apostles didn't believe either, right? When Mary Magdalene came back and said, the tomb is empty, I've seen angels, we've seen these things, they said, what are you talking about? <laughs> they didn't believe her either, right? So the other apostles did not believe. In fact, if you read today's Matins reading from Matthew, it says, when the disciples went into Galilee, some still doubted. Now, I don't know if that means of the 70 or if that means of the 12, but there was still doubt. So Thomas was only asking to see what everyone else had already seen. But he was honest enough not to pretend he had something he didn't have. He knew that his faith was what it was. So he said plainly, I need to see, I need to believe, I need something to strengthen my faith. And the Lord gave it to him. Because he was so pure-hearted, the Lord gave it to him. Never think Thomas didn't want to believe. When they were going off to, to raise Lazarus from the dead, what did Thomas say? Thomas said, let us go with him that we may die with him. Right? Because the apostles said, Lord, do you really want to go back to Bethany? And the Jews were trying to stone you. And the Lord said, well, yes, we have to raise, we have to raise Lazarus from the dead. And Thomas' response was, yes, let us go with him that we may die with him. So it was not only Peter who spoke this way, Thomas also spoke this way. So don't ever think Thomas didn't want to believe. With all his soul, he wanted to. That's what more would he have wanted than to see Christ again. That's all he wanted. But he wasn't a liar. He, didn't, he knew his faith was not that strong. And so we must also learn to bear the light, like the elder said. We should be like Thomas. We should know the limits of our faith. We should ask God to increase it. We should not be afraid to go to him and say, Lord, help me to believe. Help me to believe more. We're not martyrs, right? We're not like the martyrs. Pascha doesn't define our lives, does it? Well, if we're honest, we'll say no. It doesn't. Maybe Pascha lasted through Bright Monday. Maybe it lasted through Bright Wednesday. Maybe it's, some people still have it now. But for many of us, it will be gone soon. So we need to say, Lord, forgive us. We're not like the, old, the, the holy people of the old times who carry torches for souls. We don't really have that. We have little candles that we're trying to protect. Please give us faith. Please give us more faith. Just be honest and humble, just like Thomas, our father. And the Lord will visit you, and he will give you something, and he will increase your light, and he will give you the strength to bear your light as you walk through the darkness of this world, till you find the true Pascha, which is paradise. Amen.